The topic of this video is solving systems of linear equations using substitution or elimination. This skill can be applied to real-world problems, like this problem from the field of economics. In economics, the IS curve is a linear equation that represents all combinations of income Y and interest rates R that maintain an equilibrium in the market for goods in the economy. The LM curve is a linear regression equation that represents all combinations of income Y and interest rates R that maintain an equilibrium in the market for money in the economy. In an economy, suppose the equilibrium level of income in millions of dollars and interest rates satisfy this system of equations. 0.05y minus 4000r equals 150. 0.05y plus 5000r equals 600. Find capital Y and R. Okay, so the first thing that we want to pay attention to is what these mean. Capital Y is the income. And lowercase r is the interest rate. This will help us to interpret our answer when we are done solving this problem. So let's just make a few notes. Income is capital Y, and we note that it is measured in millions of dollars. And interest rate is R. Okay. Now I'm going to erase this rather large block of text, which will give us the space to solve this problem. Okay, here we go. So we have our system. The first thing we should decide is do we want to use substitution or elimination? Well, if I look at all of my coefficients, I notice that there are no ones or negative ones, so I'm tempted to use elimination for this problem. Something else that's suggesting the elimination might be a good idea is that my capital Y terms are almost opposites. They both have the same 0 0.05. So to get them to be opposites, I just need to multiply one equation, either the top or the bottom, by negative one on both sides. So which equation should we choose? It doesn't really matter. So in this instance, let's just go ahead and do the top equation. So if we take the top equation, 0.05y minus 4000r equals 150, and if we multiply it by negative 1 on both sides, then we would get the new equation, which is negative 0.05y plus 4000r equals negative 150. And then when we take our original second equation and put it underneath it, we'll see that we've created our opposites. All right, so now that we've created our opposites, we are ready to add our two equations together. Opposites add to make zero. 4,000R plus 5,000R makes 9,000R. And negative 150 plus 600 makes 450. Anything plus zero is itself, so then we have 9,000R equals 450. Divide by 9,000 on both sides. And we get the result, r is equal to, I'll use a calculator for this division, 450 divided by 9,000 is 0 0.05. Now remember, r represents an interest rate, and interest rates are described as percents. So we multiply this by 100 and then put the percent symbol after it. We get 5%. Okay, so now we know the interest rate is 5%, but we still need to discover the income. So we're going to use the decimal version of our answer 
and plug in to one of our equations. Which equation should we choose? Well, we recommend using the smallest numbers with the fewest negatives. The top one has the smallest numbers, but includes a negative. The bottom one has some larger numbers and no negatives. It's really a toss-up as to which one is better. But in this particular instance, I'm going to recommend that we use the bottom equation to plug into. So 0.05y plus 5000r equals 600. We discovered that r is equal to the decimal 0 0.05. So we get 0.05y plus, multiplying these values, 5000 times 0 0.05 gives the value 250 equals 600. Now subtract 250 from both sides. We get 0.05y equals 350. Now divide by 0.05 on both sides. And this will give us the value of y, which is the income. So 350 divided by 0 0.05, 7,000. Now we have to be careful because this is measuring millions of dollars. So what we have is 7,000 millions. we might find that we need to convert that into an actual dollar value. One easy way to do that is to recognize that the word millions is equivalent to the number one million. And if we were to multiply these together, we would get seven billion. So the income in this particular economy is $7 billion, and the interest rate is 